हेलो टुडे इन दिस क्लास वी विल सी अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एज पर यूर सिलेबस विच इज पार्टीशनिंग कंसेप्ट नाउ पार्टीशनिंग इज एक्चुअली डिवाइडिंग और सब डिवाइडिंग यूर डाटा बेस इन टू डिफरेंट पार्टीशंस पार्टीशनिंग एनहेंसिस द परफॉर्मेंस मैनेजबिलिटी एंड अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ वाइड वेराइटी ऑफ एप्लीकेशन एंड इट ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन रिड्यूसिंग द कॉस्ट फॉर स्टोरिंग लार्ज अमाउंट्स ऑफ डेटा it allows tables indexes etc to be subdivided into smaller pieces partitioning key is comprised of one or more columns that determines the partition where each row will be stored for example if we see a database which is non partitioning non partitioned it may look like this data for january data for february march and something like this a single database contains all the records related to different months it is basically a database which is not partitioned now if you see that if i need a a record from only feb month then i have to search the entire database but if the if this data is partitioned then the data may look like this one partition for january another partition for february and then the partition for march so now if i have to see records for the feb month then i have to search only this particular partition i will not bother about these two partitions so it is actually reducing the cost and it is also enhancing the performance and to manage data is much more simpler in the partition database rather than in the non partition database now there must be some columns in this particular table or database which can tell that where my records are stored in the memory that columns are actually known as partitioning key now let's see what are the different methods of partitioning in oracle database there are various methods of partitioning in the oracle database first single level partitioning there are three different methods in single level range hash and list first we will see about the range level or the range method of partitioning in the single level this method maps data to partition based on the range of partition key values established for each partition for example if i have a database that contains data for sales the data can be for january sales in february march and so on so i can partition that data in the list format for example for january a uh, range format sorry for the range january or the products that are sold from 1st january to 31st january then the range can be from 1st february to the last day of the february similar for the month of march so in this way we can specify range for the column or the partitioning key and the data will gets partitioned now let's see how you can actually create a partition for the range format so you will write like this simple first you will write create table then the columns of table you can specify primary key foreign key and after that you will write like this partition by now i am using range so partition by range then use the column name on which you want to establish the partitioning key so here i am using order underscore date suppose this is the column actually 
now under this you will create different partitions so first partition is for january so i will write sales underscore january then the values that will be present in this partition so values ke liye main likh raha hu values less than this particular column तो उसके लिए मैंने लिखा टू अंडर स्कोर डेट फंक्शन देन द स्पेसिफाइड द डेट सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई एम राइटिंग फॉर जनवरी आई विल राइट लाइक जीरो टू जीरो वन ईयर कैन बी एनीथिंग कॉमा एमएम डीडी वाई 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 एंड सो ऑन फॉर फेबरी मार्च एंड so on. so what it will do is it will create a partition sale jan that will contain values less than 2 underscore date this is the function now if you see this is the month so it is telling me all the values of the column order date that has values less than 2nd february 2000 so it is basically storing the records for january so this is how range partition works now let's see other method of partitioning next method of single level partitioning is list partition method in list partition method we are enable to control how row maps to the partition it is implemented by providing discrete values for the partitioning key in description of each partition for example if i have a data of sales and the sales are all over the country so the sales can be from mumbai delhi chennai and so on and if i want to partition this particular data based on the region so i can do that with the help of list partition suppose i want to partition like this data for west side of the country east side of the country north and south suppose this is how i want to partition my data based on this four regions in the country west east north and south so i can do with the help of list partition so after writing the create table you will write partition by list and this is the state on which i am using the partition key so i will write state this is the column actually then create partition partition first partition is west so i am writing west and the values are the discrete values for the partitioning key so the for west i will write discrete values like mumbai pune and so on then if i am creating next partition for north so partition north and the values suppose delhi noida so this is how you can use list partition in the oracle database now we will see hash partition method of single level partitioning concept the next method is hash partitioning it enables easy partitioning of data and it creates partition in round robin manner in the previous examples of previous methods that is list and range there is one limitation or disadvantage that even distribution of data in each partition is not possible because in list there can be a case where for one particular region 
the number of rows are more and similarly in range case there can be a reason uh, there can be a situation where value for one particular range is higher than values for another range so even distribution is not possible we can do this with the help of hash partitioning so it creates partition like this partition by hash now i am using the column as id then create partition store in specify the name of the partition so if i am specifying table space 1 table space 2 table space 3 and table space 4 so this is how hash partition works what it will do is see if i have records from 1 to 100 in the id column and the hash partition decides four records at a time so table space 1 will have ids from 1 to 4 table space 2 will have from 5 to 8 this will have from 9 to 12 and this will have from 13 to 16 now after this cycle completes it works in round robin manner so now from 17 to 20 will be in table space 1 and so on so hash partitioning provides even distribution of data in the partition and it is easy because we don't have to specify any partitioning values or range for the partitioning now let's see what is composite partitioning method there are two different types of composite partitioning method that you need to study one is range hash and another is range list it is basically partitioning first by range method and then use the hash method this is the composite partitioning method in this what we will do is we will first partition the data using range method suppose using range method i will get data like this this is one partition after range method then in this partition we will again perform hash method so performing hash method i will get the further partitions similarly in range list you will get different partitions using range and then each range method will get partitioned using list method this is two different types of composite partitioning method what you need to know is different partitioning methods why partition is required what are the benefits of partitions and sql commands to create partitions in oracle database system you can read in detail about this or uh, partitioning method in the oracle docs that will help you learn these methods even in a more better way thank you for watching the video